I'm a closet vlogger. I'm called the closet vlogger because I vlog in my closet. All right, I couldn't help myself. I watched that debate. Was that really a debate? You know, Ron DeSantis, Gavin Newsom, why were they going at each other? I don't know. Was it for views on television? Was Newsom throwing up a balloon, you know, thinking uh, maybe if I can win this, I could run? I'm going to go down in the record of say, as saying uh, Gavin Newsom will be on the Democrat ticket come 2024. Now, I may be wrong, but I really do believe that's what this is all about. Even though at the end he said this. But there's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. Now, I don't know about Ron DeSantis. I like the guy as a person. I don't know him personally. Um, but he's very much a conservative the way he talks. But I want you to listen to this. Explain this migration out of California and going to red you mean, state, you mean, blue state. Well, hold on, you, you mean the, the, the last two years, more Floridians going to California than Californians going to Florida? No, I, I put <laughs> up on, I put up on just, the By screen. the way, that's gonna be fun to fact check, so we'll just start right there. Okay, and then so I did my own fact check, and here's, I, I got it right out of the U.S. Census, and I'll leave a link so you could see it. But the people that left California for Florida way outweighed the people that left Florida for California. And here are the numbers. Okay, here we have um, data that we got right off of the U.S. Census Bureau's website. And I gave you the website address. I want you to go there and fact check for yourself. But this is the data that I find. So as of 2021, so that was a couple of years ago, um, this shows where the current residence is... California, that is at the time of this data is California, and where they came from. And you can see from Florida to California, 24,692 people. All right, remember that number. Now let's move on to the next one. This is the same year, but we're looking coming from California and moving to Florida. And as you can see, there's 37, 464,000 people. Very interesting, isn't it? Let's move on to 2022. Here we are in 2022. We are going to show where people from Florida moved to California. There were 28,500 and 57 people. That's from Florida to California. All right, remember that number. Let's go to migration data for 2022, where people went from California to Florida. Okay, 50,701 people. In both years, more people moved from California to Florida than from Florida to California. More Floridians going to California. Gavin Newsom lied to you. The numbers don't lie. Gavin Newsom lied. Why would he do that? I mean, was he just sitting there trying to defend himself? And in his head, he was like, uh, I'll just say this. This will sound good. Uh, you know, and then thinking that no one was going to fact check him. Because, you know, you're watching a live debate thing on television. Maybe you're not flipping through, you know, census.gov and is this true? Is he really? You're just going to believe him. Okay, so conservatives, if you're watching this, I already know where you stand. Okay. Great national crusade to make America great again. Um, if you are a liberal, if you're a liberal Democrat, and you're watching this, which I don't know there are going to be that many people doing that. But if there are, I want you to know that this guy that you saw that you might even want to support is lying to you. Flat out lying. OK, you do not want somebody lying in the office in 2024. Now, that may be just about everybody that gets into office is caught in a lie sometime. 
but to flat out ball face lie and then to have all the numbers show that he did lie, do you really want that in the office over and over and over again? And let's just talk about Bidenomics. You know, that's all a lie. And then look at where we are now, today. A recession avoided so far and the lowest unemployment rate since Neil Armstrong arrived on the moon. Okay, Mehdi, that's a lie too. If you look at October 23, it was 3.9%. But 1969, it was 3.5%. I'd say that's lower back then than it is now. Binomics looks like nothing short of a miracle right now. I'm going to ask you folks that are Democrats that lean a little bit on the liberal side. Um, I don't consider you a leftist. I consider you liberal. And if you're a true Democrat, you're going to think democracy, because that's what the name is after. You are not a leftist. Do not vote for a leftist person like Gavin Newsom, who wants a radical government that's going to be, one, very socialistic and leaning towards communism. You're not a communist. Do not do anything to raise this guy above where he thinks he should be. All right, 2024 is coming. Let's keep America free. Put a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. See ya.